Hello and welcome. My name is Deborah Rathwin Arbenlow and I'm a blogger and photographer for Second Life. Today I'm going to show you an alternative to the green screen background removal method. So if you've followed my videos for a while, you've probably seen my green screen background removal tutorial from December and the follow-up tutorial on removing green screen halos. So in this case, I'm going to show you an alternative method, which is a layer mask removal method. In order to do this, you need to take your main image, and then you need to take a separate, unique kind of image. The main thing for preparation for this is to make sure that your image, where you're going to take your image rather, is on a background that you can edit to become white and full bright. So you should really take this on a photo wall or even just a big prim that you set out that you own. So you can take your first image however you like. You can use whatever wind light you want. It can look however you'd like it to look. It doesn't affect the end result. But you want to make sure that you don't move your avatar because you want to make your second picture the same exact position and everything, every angle is the same. If you need to, if for some reason you feel like you might zoom in and out or you've made mistakes, you want to go to Photo Tools Camera, which is another option here. So here in the toolbar buttons on Firestorm, you have Photo Tools and Photo Tools Camera. So Photo Tools is what we use for the wind light. Photo Tools Camera, you can save the position of your camera by clicking this button here and then load it by clicking this button. So if you somehow mess up your camera angle, you can go back into the same camera angle. All right, so back to what we were doing. We're gonna take a picture, so we'll just take this shot here. I'm using the Juicy Bomb Mela the Space Queen uh, wind light, just by default, with my advanced lighting on. So I'll take this shot, we'll save it, and then we're going to take a second shot that will be different. Now, I'm going to show you, without putting the full bright on the background, what happens in case this happens to you. So we want to change our wind light to ambient dark. So I'm going to start typing ambient and it'll pop up. It's a default setting in Firestorm. Now, if I don't fix my background, it turns the whole screen black. So make sure, let me move this here, make sure you go edit your background and turn it into full bright and white. Full bright and white is what makes this next part possible. Okay, so now I can go back to ambient dark. And what you see here is essentially the black and white of a layer mask in Photoshop. So I'm gonna refresh this and I'm gonna take this image. You can see here it even gets those alphas. All right, so I'll save that and then we're gonna head over into Photoshop and we'll finish this off. Okay, so now we're in Photoshop and we've got our main image and then we've got the other image that we took here. Now, I have inverted this image, so the image by default looks like this. So what you want to do when you have this image loaded is you want to hit Control i to turn it into black background, white avatar. So you start out with white with a black avatar, you hit control I, and now you have black with a white avatar. So this is the one we're going to use. So we'll control A to select it, we'll control C to copy it, and then we're gonna go to our main image. So now I'm gonna take my main image and I'm gonna hit this layer mask button down here. So it's gonna create this layer mask then I'm going to hit Alt and hold that Alt and then click on the white. So now it pulls this up. Now what I want to do is just paste my other image that I just copied into this window. So now my black and white is in the layer mask. Because I hit Alt and I clicked on it, now I can paste into the layer mask. If you just paste without holding Alt, if you paste without holding Alt and clicking your layer mask, it'll just paste it on your main image. So make sure you do that step. Now I can click my main photo and all of that background is going to disappear. Magic. So now, even in the areas where I have alphas, all of that background has disappeared. So now the last step to make this completely removed is to go to your layer mask and hover over it. 
and then right click it and apply the layer mask. So now I've applied it and it's completely gone. So I will add a little red background in here so you can see. So now all of that is gone and I have those alphas still there. This is not always 100% perfect, but it is way more accurate than green screen removal and you don't have to worry about colors. So now if I zoom in on this, you can see just how good that is. And this is really good for vendors as well. So I'll show you how to do it on a vendor ad also. So we'll take my vendor ads here. So I did this for Azuchi for their TFC release. So they have the dresses that are released at TFC for May. And then here I did the alternative image. Now I didn't do this perfectly and I have this little segment here that is incorrect. This is what happens when you don't have your full background covered. So I missed a little bit of the background here on the bottom. That's why there's that black line. But in this case, it doesn't really matter. I can erase it after, no big deal. So I'm gonna hit Control I to invert it, just like I did on the portrait. Now I have black as my main and white as the uh, image that I wanna keep. So I'm gonna Control A to copy it, Control C, sorry, Control A to select it, Control C to copy it. And then I'll go over here to my main background. I'm gonna hold the layer mask button and then click the white square while holding Alt. Pulls that white up. Paste in my image. And then select my main image. And all the background is gone. Now, because I had a green and a blue dress here, I can't use green screen or blue screen methods. So I'm gonna apply this layer mask and then all of that background is just gone. So apply the layer mask and all that background is gone. So now a vendor is free to use all of these images without having to worry about the rest of it. So it's very simple and it's very precise. It's a really great alternative method to the green screen removal. So that is it. That is how you do that. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can send them to me on Flickr, Plurk, uh, in the comments here on YouTube. You can send them to me in Second Life. And the same goes for uh, if you have suggestions for videos that you would like to see. Thank you for joining me and I hope that this was very educational for you and will help you for your photos in the future. I'll catch you next time.